Hi everyone. So I've been doing some research into the frozen time glitch and so today what I will do is to teach you how to do that glitch together with spawning cars. Now you all know or maybe most of you know that the Sand King XL is a confirmed 100% spawn between 9 to 9 a.m. to about 5 p.m. So we're just going to use this frozen time glitch to glitch the time to freeze at that point whereby we can keep spawning cars. So let us start in a solo session at about noon time. Then you go into story mode. Once in story mode, you open up the interaction menu and go into director mode. Just load into director mode, accept the alerts. Once you are at the trailer, you select the actor. Uh, it should be your online character one in my instance uh, right now. So once you select that character, you let it load. Once you are loaded in, what you have to do is to go to settings and then select freeze time. That's the most important part. After time has frozen, just take a look at uh, your phone, open it up. You will see that time has already frozen. So with that, what you need to do right now is to actually go open the pause menu, look for the game and load into story mode. So this will effectively load you into the previous character that you were in. So this is actually quite a very quick process. Now, once you are in story mode, take a look at the time, open up your phone. You will see that time has already frozen as well. So once you determine that the time is also frozen, what you will need to do right now is to go online into an on invite only session. Now, once you load into the session, the first thing you need to do is to just check your phone to make sure that time has stopped and it will not move. So here I am opening up the phone is at 208. So yeah, the minute is not moving, the time has frozen. So now is the best time to actually start spawning the Sand King XL. So the Sand King XL, as explained before, is a confirmed spawn at this location between 9 to 5 p.m. So one condition that you will have to adhere to is that you will need a common Sand King XL to actually spawn this as well. So if you don't have a Sand King XL, I mean, it, this, this spawns pretty normally in, uh, in this area as well. So you can get yourself one. I actually made a mistake in this video because I called out my MOC. I was thinking that I could just keep putting the vehicles into the MOC and I, they wouldn't get deleted, but it only applies to vehicles that you already own. So you don't have to follow what I do in the video. You don't have to call out your MOC uh, like what I did. It was a silly mistake. I should have realized that a lot earlier. So now with time frozen at 2.08, you can actually keep spawning the cars as long as you have enough garage space for it. So what you are going to do later on is you're going to just keep, you're going to keep spawning the cars. And once the car spawns, you're going to drive it into the LS Customs that's right next to the spawn location and put a tracker on it. So you can spawn, put a tracker on it, spawn again, put a tracker on it, spawn again, put a tracker on it. It's going to go pretty fast. So when you actually keep at it, you could actually fill two or three garages uh, very quickly in no time at all. As you can see over here, we already have a spawn. So I didn't create that spawn. I mean, it just, it just came out of nowhere because there was already a Sand King XL on the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and I'm going to drive a route for you to follow later on. But let me just put this in the MOC first since uh, the MOC right now is empty. Just a little note over here. Um, there are two versions that will spawn. One is the yellow one and one is the blue one. The blue one sells for about 18,000 plus. Uh, in LSC, while the yellow one sells for maybe about 17,000 plus. So if you minus a tracker of 2,000 each, you're still getting a pretty good deal. Now that we have saved that vehicle, let's go into my Sand King XL. That's F1 tires on it. So I'll show you the route that you need to go in order to spawn the Sand King XL in that location. So you go off road here all the way to the back where you will actually reach another road. Once you are on that road, you follow that road to the left. And once it takes you to another fork, you turn left again, very simple route. It's like a circuit. So once you're on this road, you can go ahead, go on full speed or whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, you don't have to slow down. Many videos are telling you to slow down to let vehicles spawn, but actually that's not very true. You can go at full speed and whatever will spawn will just spawn. So it doesn't matter. 
So here we go, we went at full speed and we spawn yet another one. Again, I must say that this is the only vehicle that has a 100% spawn rate. So it's one of the easiest vehicles to get. You just need to follow the route again and again and again. So I'm not going to bore you with all the details. Once I save this vehicle, I am going to speed up the video so that you can see that I can keep spawning the Sand King XL again and again and again. And I will also bring up the time to show you that the time has already frozen. So that's everything that you need to know. Feel free to go to the end of the video where you can see proof that uh, the time is indeed still frozen. If you haven't already, now is a good time to drop a like and subscribe. So I'll be putting up more videos very, very soon. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you.